In this short tutorial, we'll go over how to find empirical studies within Psych Articles and Psych Info to EBSCOhost databases. To access the Sullivan Library databases from Dominican College's homepage, hover over Academics and then click on the Sullivan Library. Next, choose Databases within the Find menu. Databases are online platforms that provide access to abstracts and full-text articles from scholarly journals, trade journals, magazines, and other publications, usually all of the same or similar discipline. To organize databases by discipline, click on All Subjects and scroll down to find Psychology and Sociology. From here, choose Psych Articles. To search both Psych Articles and Psych Info at once, click on Choose Databases. EBSCO is a company that hosts a variety of different databases, and you'll see that you have the option of searching many or all of them at the same time. For now, check off Psych Info and click OK. To find empirical research studies, you must use the advanced search, not the basic search. Scroll down to find search filters. In the methodology section, choose empirical study. Empirical studies use observational techniques and quantitative measurements to conduct experiments and collect data. Also tick off peer-reviewed. Articles that have been published in peer-reviewed journals are typically high quality. This is because experts, such as scholars and practitioners in the field of psychology, have vetted and edited each article before publication and deemed it appropriate for that particular journal. You might also want to check off linked full text. This will filter out search results where only the abstract is available to read and not the article in its entirety. Leaving this unchecked is useful when you have time to request full text articles through interlibrary loan. Now let's try a sample search. Let's say you're researching the effect of cognitive behavioral therapy on veterans with PTSD. On the advanced search page, it's best to break up your key terms by using different fields separated by the search operator and. In the first field, you would type cognitive behavioral therapy in quotation marks to keep the phrase together. In the next field, veterans. And in the last, post-traumatic stress disorder. If you were searching on the basic search page, your search string would look like this. We have 24 results. Remember, these are records of peer-reviewed, full-text, empirical research articles, the filters you initially chose to search through. You'll see on the left that there are more filters you can employ should you feel the need to. For example, if you only wanted to see articles published within the last five years, you could change the publication date. That cuts your search results in half. These records contain a lot of information, like article title, authors, journal title, volume, issue, and page numbers, and more. You can also read the article's abstract or comprehensive summary by clicking this icon. The abstract can help you decide whether or not to read the full text of the article. Click on an article title to find even more information and tools, and sometimes even the HTML full text below. A link to the PDF full text should be located in the upper left corner of the page. Opening the PDF allows you to download a copy from your browser to your computer or to print the full text. Alternatively, you could email the article to yourself to read later by using this email tool. Be sure to send the PDF attachment and to choose APA citation. Always double check that database generated citations are correctly formatted. They very often are not. If you've created an account with EBSCO, you can save the article to a folder to read at another time as well. This is a very good option if you'll be reading many different articles and would like to organize them into subfolders. To create an account, click sign in and then create a new account. If you have further questions or need any help at all, never hesitate to contact the Sullivan Library via email, phone, or chat. Or stop by to see us in real life.